This is the FET molecules and light simulation, and we're going to answer a couple of questions for the Physics in Everyday Life uh, course. What happens when photons or really small particles of electromagnetic radiation pass through molecules, and does the same thing always happen? So you can see in the simulator there are four different kinds of particles we can make. We can make microwave uh, that we uh, talked about last time. We can make infrared, which is the default start here of the simulator. We can make visible light, and we can make ultraviolet light. So you create photons by turning up the little slider here on the device. And so you'll notice when I do this, what the, uh, what the simulator is telling me here is that uh, many times when these little pieces or particles of, of infrared light go out, they don't interact at all with, this is a carbon monoxide molecule model, uh, but occasionally they do, and you see that in the simulation when they are absorbed in here, and then they are ejected later and often in a very different direction than they came in. Uh, but not everything's absorbed uh, and re-radiated, but they are occasionally, and so this is one of the ways that light interacts with particles light uh, pieces of light or light waves can be absorbed by the particles and then re-emitted often in a different direction. And you can change, uh, you know, so that's carbon monoxide, here's nitrogen, and I don't know if in this simulator the, the infrared particles interact with nitrogen, it doesn't appear to be. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, okay, it does interact a little bit with carbon dioxide at times in the simulator water. So you can see it gives water sometimes occasionally some uh, vibrational energy there. And then there's nitrogen dioxide and ozone in here as well. So some classes use this for explorations about atmospheric uh, conditions and you know ozone absorption and all of that. We want it to broadly uh, understand that particles can absorb light and they can re-emit light. Uh, so if we go back down to microwaves, which we were talking about last time, you'll notice they don't really interact here with the ozone molecules. Well, I spoke too soon, uh, but we can go back to the water molecules that we had uh, in our microwave simulator. And you notice for many of those microwaves, they give that water molecule um, some rotational energy. However, it's a sole molecule, so it doesn't start moving translationally as a result. If we go up the energy scale, we already looked a little bit at infrared. Here's visible light. And you notice largely in here, visible light doesn't interact. Uh, but I'm just going to go through back through the list and see if I see anything. So here's carbon monoxide. Here's nitrogen, which is the majority gas in the atmosphere. I like doing anything unless I'm missing something. Here's some oxygen. And so one of the things we notice is that these higher energy particles have far less interaction with things that are in our atmosphere. Now this should not be meant to uh, mean that, that, that visible light never interacts with particles in our atmosphere. In fact it does and this is uh, part of the reason why the sky appears blue to us and that's discussed more uh, in the Bloomfield chapter. But in general, these higher energy particles uh, do tend to pass through things more than the lower energy particles do. Ah, so here with the nitrogen dioxide, the simulator is representing some occasional absorption of those particles and then sending off a photon in a new direction. And I think when we get up to ultraviolet on here, uh, they are high enough energy that in some cases uh, they, in fact, can break particles apart. So this was nitrogen dioxide being broken off by uh, an ultraviolet because ultraviolet is higher energy. Does it break apart everything? Here's some water. Water seems safe with the ultraviolet light here. Carbon dioxide. Oxygen. Nitrogen. Carbon monoxide. Yep, seems to just be these ozone particles and nitrogen dioxide that get broken apart by these ultraviolet uh, photons.